Welcome to this short web demo. Here you will see how a combination of Embarcadero DB Artisan and Embarcadero DB Optimizer can help you quickly and proactively recognize performance issues, instantly drill to the source of a performance problem and resolve it to your satisfaction. Here we are inside the main window of DB Artisan, a widely used and well-respected multi-platform database administration tool. We're now going to select the Performance Analyst tool within DB Artisan to look at the kind of information that DB Artisan can provide to help us understand potential performance impacts on our database system. Here we can see a number of different database performance metrics and if we look at the bottleneck analysis in the bottom left of the screen here we can see that there's a blue spike which is representing uh, quite a peak in user I.O. activity so that might be something that we want to go ahead and explore further. We're now going to select the top SQL functionality inside DB Artisan, which is going to immediately show us the um, top SQL statements that are executing against our database. From this top SQL detail view, I can see that there appears to be a long running SQL query there, utilizing 34.86% of the elapsed time. So that's probably something that we might want to investigate further. Within DB Artisan, I can actually bring up the details of the SQL statement directly but we're really going to need another tool to help us drill down and discover the cause of this, uh, of this long running SQL query. So I'm now going to change tools and actually bring up DB Optimizer. This is DB Optimizer and at the moment we're currently profiling against our Oracle 10G database. We can see similar information to what we saw in DB Artisan in terms of there was some high levels of user activity and again we can drill down and look at the individual SQL statements that are responsible for this. One of the nice things I can do inside DB Optimizer is at any point I can basically highlight areas dynamically on screen that I'm interested in drilling further into and here at this point we can see it is this query which is running against the database. And I'm going to start a new tuning session to see if there's actually something we can do to tune this SQL statement. So I'll select the tune option and this creates us a new tuning job with the SQL statement already copied in for us. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the button here to say generate alternative cases. So what's happening here is DB Optimizer is examining the query and it's going to go through and apply different hints to see if there's any cases it can generate to actually give us a more efficient SQL query. I can also expand some options out here which we'll take a look at in just a moment. So here we now see the results of that initial first pass of tuning the query. And what we can see is that according to the cost values being returned by Oracle, none of the hints are actually going to result in a more optimized execution of our SQL statement. However, that doesn't always tell us the true story. So in fact, what's happening on the right hand side of the screen, you can see some elapsed times coming through. DB Optimizer is actually going through and trying out each of those hints to get a real world example of how long it will actually take. And here we're already we can see they're coming through and some of those SQL statements are running significantly faster than our original statement at the top there which took 11.19 seconds. Some of the optimized statements are coming through around about a second or even less. What you can also see here at the bottom is that final uh, SQL tuning DB Optimizer actually abandoned its run because it had already taken a significant amount of time longer than the original query so DB Optimizer is not going to waste time going through and, and running that job to the end it's just going to give us a list of the, the faster optimized SQL queries. I can then of course go ahead and sort these by result and then drill down into what is being suggested. So using my mouse I can hover over each of these individual generated cases and a display will show us exactly what hint is being applied there and also a little bit of information about what that actually means. We can also go in and select the individual SQL statements and actually see the changes that are being applied there. So we've used DB Optimizer to profile our database and we've also done some tuning on that specific SQL statement which appears to be a long running SQL statement. The other nice thing that we can do inside DB Optimizer is actually look at doing a simulated load test to actually see that if we make that change to the database is it actually going to have an effect. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually go back to my original statement and I'm going to, select, I'm going to just click on it to bring up the details and I'm actually going to copy all of that statement into the clipboard. I'm then going to switch views and go into my active live profiling session on my database. And we can see at the moment that there's very little activity occurring on our database, in essence because I'm not running any other uh, sessions or any other tests against it. 
what I'm now going to do is go into something called a SQL load simulator. Here I can actually set up a load simulation by running this query. I can set the number of times I want it to execute as well as the number of executions. So I can simulate in this case 10 users executing the query five times against the database. And I'm just going to go ahead and start that. So it's initialing the SQL load now. And if we go back to our live view, our live profiling view, what we should start to see very soon is that we're going to see the load appearing on the database. And here it comes in at the right hand side. So we've got 10 sessions active there against the database and we're going to be executing that query five times within each of those sessions with a random uh, several millisecond delay between them to really just try and simulate a usage scenario uh, that might occur against our database. Now it'll take that just a few seconds to, uh, to complete and while that's going on what I'm going to do next is just leave that running and switch back to my tuning job. And here I'm actually going to select one of the optimized or one of the tuned queries so we can run that as a comparison. So I'll take this one here, which is a, an index FFS hint being applied to the SQL. So as before, I just open up the SQL, copy that into the clipboard, and then we're ready to load that into our load simulator. So let's clear out that old query, load in the new one, where we can see the FFS hint is being applied to it. And let's now just switch back to our profiling view to see what's happening on our database. I think we can see now that the activity has, has come to an end. So we can see that block of blue. And I could highlight that in here. That's our query that's been running, along with miscellaneous information that we can drill into. So what I'm now going to do is actually go back to the load simulator. This has now got our optimized query in here. I'm going to keep the other settings the same. So it's going to simulate 10 users, each executing the query five times, and go ahead and run that. And as before, while that's running, we're going to go back to the live profiling session and see the information that comes through. And here we can see pretty much immediately uh, the difference between the two queries. So this was our original query here without any optimizations. And you can see the load that's actually been put on the database very clearly. If we compare that to our second uh, set of load here, you can see that using the hint suggested by DB Optimizer results in a query which puts much less load on the database. So DB Optimizer can be a really powerful tool that enables us to take the information originally supplied by DB Artisan, utilize that inside DB Optimizer to help identify, then tune, and then actually do some simulated load testing against our SQL query. So from this, I think you can see that DB Optimizer is an excellent complementary product to run alongside DB Artisan. That brings to an end our short web demonstration. I just want to say thank you for your time. I hope it was useful and informative. And for more information, of course, do check out our website. Thanks again.